It's Jo from Angels and Ancestors, and today is Samhain. Um, for a lot of you, that's going to be Halloween or All Hallows Eve. But for us pagans, it's Samhain, and tomorrow is our um, New Year. So, I know I did a Samhain reading a couple of weeks ago. That lasts about six weeks um, up until the winter solstice um, but I decided today in honor of my mum that I would do a, a reading on the day of Samhain and get it uploaded um, before this evening so you've got an on the day reading um, I'm going to say to you guys that this is going to last probably um, about a week rather than the six week one. So this is a Samhain reading and I want to get a flavour really of what the future is. So I'm not going to do a behind um, energy but I do want a foundation energy if it will send one out to very nice people and I'm going to do a thoughts and feelings for everybody for Samhain um, Peaks enjoy tonight the fail is the thinnest um, you can make contact with those loved ones that oh someone's pissed off um, you can make contact with your loved ones that have gone on before you have just been looking at forget-me-nots for my mum and because she became an ancestor last Saturday um, it's still quite raw for me um, but I've got lots of ancestors up there or wherever they are that obviously I'm going to be honouring them but I so I'm going to pull out wow this reading so far um, I'm going to pull out a couple more cards for the future <gasps> Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, a couple, and I'm not doing a past one for this. I'm just going to do three future ones. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Oh, really? How amazing is that for a sour raising? Guys, listen, you're going into the new year with a, a different attitude. Um, let's start with your current. I've got the Lord and Lady, which in another in other decks is the Lovers. However, as you know, when I read this card, unless it indicates, I will say to you that um, this is a partnership of sorts. It can be a love partnership. It can be a business partnership. It can be a partnership between a dad and a daughter, a mum and a son. Or a mum and a daughter and a, a dad and a son. So it's loads of different partnerships. However, looking at the other cards, this is definitely, definitely a love partnership. This is, it, it just can't be anything else. It can't be anything else. Um, and the reason I say that is because you've got so many positive cards around. You've got the yes card as well. So I'm really excited about this. So your challenge for Samhain is the battle wagon now when I saw this come out I thought yeah I know what that is and I do know what it is it's you come back from a battle victorious you come back from a battle that may be to do with your relationship or you're battling with yourself about a new relationship or an old relationship that is returning I'm just checking maybe it may be um but with the battle wagon, like the chariot, the horses are slightly facing in two different directions, which would indicate that although you've been victorious, there is still a choice to be made as to what road you're going to go down. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily that you've got to choose a partner, uh, but it does, does, does indicate that 
um, maybe you guys really do need to sit down and have a long chat about the two different roads because both roads are really positive um, for both of you. They are wonderful opportunities in their own right, but you can't have both. So, you need to make that decision. Neither of those options are going to be wrong. The option you choose is going to be completely right, but again, I'm going to say to you, please, once you've chosen that option, do not try to reverse and revert to the other option, because once you choose the option, the other option will close to you. So that is your challenge. And then in your foundation, you have happy families. You have the nine of pentacles. And yeah, it's just happy families. You've got the money to pay the bills. The kids are playing. Um, you're just doing what families do. And this is in your foundation. You're building something absolutely wonderful here. Um, and I'm get, I just got the bringing together, the bringing together of a family, the uniting of a family. So I don't know if that's a family that's kind of been torn apart and they're coming back together, or whether you're blending two families into one. Um, I'm not quite sure about that at the moment, and I will do I will do a clarifier on that for you. Um, but it is your foundation. It means your foundation is rock solid. Um, and it's hard to shake something that is really happy, genuinely, 100% happy. And I get the feeling, whoever this is for, that is what you've got. You've got genuine happiness. In the room. And I know in your head at the moment, feeling a bit fed up or pissed off, as I said earlier. She looks well naffed off, doesn't she? But what she's not saying is what's across by the door, and that's a guy heading towards the door with a further cup in his hand. And although her three cups are full up, there's something missing. In your head, there is something missing. Now, whatever that cup is, and I'm going to say that, you know, you've got love, you've got spirituality, you've got future, you've got partnerships. They're all cups that can be... Um, filled up to the brim and I don't know which cup for you is missing at the moment but whichever one it is you're pretty fed up about it but it's not going to stay like that it really honestly I swear it's not going to stay like that I know that's in your head at the moment but in the very near future you have got the king of cups it's another cup coming in can you believe this? It's another cup coming in. And he is a jolly chappie. Um, as you know, with cups, they are water signs. that It's sort of kind of like still waters run deep or the flowing ebb and tide, ebb and flow of the tide coming in and out. And it means that emotions can run very high, very deeply. Um, but he's sitting there happy in the knowledge that he has done everything he wants to do in his life he's now got abundance and he wants to share that with somebody and he's offering you this cup now this can be man or female it doesn't have to be gender specific but whatever's coming towards you you've got the cup by the door there even though you can't see it and you're a bit fed up you have got a cup directly being offered to you by this king now this king can be male or female it doesn't have to be um just a male essence and i'm not getting a gender specific here at all because i've got the lord and lady i've got the happy families um and in a bit further down in the future you've got something else that's really special there so you know whoever this is that's coming in for you this is positive this is happy this is learning to accept cups graciously. This is learning to accept that you are worth the cup that's being offered. Um, and don't take, I just said, don't take false ones. Don't take false cups that are half full. Don't take false cups where somebody's just offering half a relationship or half-hearted relationships and won't 
um, commit, you really need this person that's got this abundance. And it's not just abundance of food and money and all of that. He's got an abundance of spirituality. He's got abundance of love. He's got an abundance of emotion. It just everything. The whole kit and caboodle. He's got it in that cup. It's very nice, guys. It's very, very nice. And then you have the yes card. So whatever it is you're thinking, you're manifesting... It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's the sunshine card. It's the growing of everything beautiful in the garden. It's the sun beating down on you in the summertime. It's having the roof over your head. It's having the means of making a living. It's just the yes card. It's saying yes, this is yours. This is whoever this is for. I really want to be with you at the moment. I really, really do. And what a way to honour the ancestors is to be able to say to your future descendants, yes, it's going to be yes. And the outcome of the cup of offers that's there and the yes card is the ten of chalices. And again, that's happy families. It's achieving that comfort, that love, that all of your cups that you've worked so hard from the ace, which is the new beginning, to the two of balance, to the three of celebrations, to the four of being fed up or doubtful, to the five of throwing something away or spilling something accidentally to the six which gets you back into balance again to the seven of choices to the eight of yet more balance and trying to get to that nine the nine which is your wish fulfillment and your tenth cup which completes everything it brings you everything you've ever wished for ever manifested ever thought of this is the kind of thing that we all go no it don't exist we all do it i don't care who who you are we all do it we all go no this does not exist it does folks it does exist um i'm just which one was it i was going to clarify this um pentacles wasn't it kind of a clarification for the nine of pentacles as to what type of family oh gosh we've got the knight of cups guys i'm getting the feeling that we're right on both sides here i'm getting the feeling that there is a blended family that's in the making but i'm also getting the feeling that this is drawing a family back together um to mend um some rifts and um to move forward um because you have got the happy family card. I'm just getting, with the Knight of Cups, he's coming in, he's coming in strong, he's coming in sturdy, he's coming in steady. And he is offering you um, this shiny, beautiful cup, um, just like the King is offering you. But I'm getting that this is a younger family member from either the blended family or from... A family that's had issues and this person is going to be one of the driving forces to offer that cup out to every member guys what a reading I'm kind of I don't really I don't know what to do now I didn't expect it to be this good I've got such a big grin on my face right now I'm gonna ask the Archangels if they can give some advice, not that we need any advice because we know what's happening here. It's beautiful. Could we have some advice for the Salway reading, please? Have some advice for the Salway reading, please. Oh my goodness, I'm still looking at this in absolute awe. I'm going to take that one because it flipped over. So we've got the Six of Raphael. And for those of you who don't know your archangels, Raphael is the angel of the archangel of healing. It says, embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled. We were just saying that, wasn't we? We didn't know whether it was a rekindled relationship. Um, 
and it's about children and childhood. So it rekindled relationships. Now that can be family relationships, it can be friends, and it can be lovers. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of getting that that is definitely the lover's card there. And it's going to lead to so much more. It really is. So I want some knowledge and wisdom from the angels and the ancestors, especially for today, because it is sour wave. And I forgot to put the rosemary... <laughs> I put, forgot to put the rosemary on the table, so I do apologise anything else from the angels and the ancestors for this Sal Wayne 2019. But I'm going to take those because they all fell out. Right, so this one that flipped is the arrow. Let's do Father Sky first. It says here, trust in the unknown, and this is Father Sky. And then we have the arrow, and this says, surround yourself with protective energy. So if you've got a love of a family, and you've got this much abundance around you, that wish fulfillments are coming right, and you've got the security of this, you are going to naturally be protective and have protective energy around you. We have the high priestess. And it says, harness your mystic power. And then we have the spirit fox as the last card. And it says, trust your talent, trust your talents and change it and changing times. Wow. You need to trust. You really do. I'm just wondering if I need to... No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to get a Blessed B card for you guys because this is such a, a beautiful, wonderful reading um, on this lovely Sal Wayne day. Um, oh, and that flew out, didn't it? Um, but I don't want to spoil it. A blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. Now, whatever this was, the battle you came back from, you have a blessing for. Let's just see if there's anything else. So that couldn't be avoided. Whatever you went through that you came back victorious from could not be avoided. And it's telling you that and it's giving you a blessing around that. So it says a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship and a blessing on a journey. Guys, whatever you're doing tonight, please be safe, please be happy, have a blessed one, honour the ancestors and um, happy new year for tomorrow morning. You take care now. Bye.